Hey, my gorgeous Geminis. How's everyone doing? Welcome to your love tarot reading. This is going to be a general energy vibe check-in for love for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If you have a lot of Gemini in your chart, and this is going to be valid for the next three hours, three days, or three weeks from when it reaches you, and it is a timeless reading, so whenever it finds you, as long as it resonates for you, boo-boo, it was meant for you. Gemini, if you enjoy my videos and you vibe with my channel, please like the video, subscribe to my channel. It really, really helps me out as a small new creator. Uh, if you don't like the video, no one's going to see the video, and then I'm not going to be able to make videos because there's no point. <laughs> It's kind of like that kind of logic. Anyway, forgive me. Mercury retrograde is almost over, but I'm still like not able to speak or articulate a thought. So just keeping it simple. Um, Gemini, but yeah, I really appreciate it. I also love you. If you don't want to subscribe, it's okay. If you've already subscribed, thank you so much. Uh, I appreciate and love you all. Let me know um, also uh, in the comments below how you've been doing. And Gemini, uh, I am doing a live uh, on Saturday the 5th. That's tomorrow. And uh, this is going to be uh, me doing free reads for you again. You can ask me a question in the live. It is going to be a little bit random. I'm just going to pick uh, whatever questions come up. And we're going to be doing this with a friend of mine, Demi Wild, who is amazing and, and um, scrumptious. So I'm going to link his information down below as well in terms of what to expect. You can get to know him, uh, get to meet him. He does tarot readings and uh, he's an amazing reader. So he will be answering your questions too. Um, what else can I tell you, Gemini? Uh, I just love you. I just love you, boo-boo. Uh, the live will be uh, at noon LA time and 8 p.m. GMT. That's London time. And uh, you just have to work out the other time zones because I don't have it to hand. But that is going to be the timing of it. So come and say hello if you want to, if you're available. And I'll see you there. Uh, let's get into your reading. Um, that's enough about me, Gemini. <laughs> Please show me angels what is happening for Gemini in love. I have some heavy energies today. Uh, like, not heavy in a bad way, but I'm just getting, like, the cards are heavy. So, like, I feel like some of you, um, this came up for other signs today, too. Some of you don't want to share your feelings, or some of you, you're running away from your feelings about a situation. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, Gemini. Gemini, Gemini. I see some beauty coming in. There's ghosts from the past. There's ghosts from the past, but it's okay. You turned your back on a relationship or on an offer in the recent past. Um, for those of you who had a connection, it wasn't working out for you. You had to turn your back to it. Uh, energetically, you moved away from, from a connection, from a love. Um, it was very toxic. I can see this here. It was very toxic. This person, this is endings. This is the energy you're in right now. Endings. Uh, but this person, whoever you're dealing with, I swear Libra got a similar reading. Whoever you're dealing with is a sneaky um, SOB because this person or um, DOB, anyone in between. But this person is, they broke up or they ghosted, but they were like, I just need some space. Like, I just need time to think about, like, they, they're still leaving you hanging in there. You're still checking your phone to see if this person is going to contact you. You could have been ghosted well and good. Could have been like a sudden just like ghost. But the patterns of this person's behavior, the way that this person is, or something they told you. I feel like if they broke up, like if you had a conversation about it, it was like this person's like, no, no, let's just like go on a break. Let's just think about it. They're being deceitful. You're hoping this person will, will message you, boo boo. Gemini, don't wait for this person. This is a monster. What's crossing you for good or for bad is this king of swords. Uh, disregard the gender. It's arbitrary. It could be king, queen, anyone in between. It's only energy. Uh, this is what's crossing you. This a uh, king of swords. You're waiting for a conversation. You're waiting for clarification. You're waiting for someone to come in and explain why they ghosted, why they broke up, why they treated you the way they did, that they did, why they, why they abandoned you. 
You could have been waiting and waiting and waiting for this person as well. Oh, boo boo. And you were faithful to this person. This person just disappeared out of your life in some way. And you're hoping for an explanation. This person will come back around. Maybe they've done it before. Maybe they've done it before. Yeah, this King of Swords is a conversation. It's clarification. Also doing justice by someone. Um, what you don't ex what you don't know, but the tarot wants you to know, is the Eight of Swords here. Um, this person from the past, sorry, I got an itchy nose. I feel like that's like a sign of lying, you know? Isn't it? It's like, well, in some, like, you know, whatever. Theories of body language, none of these are that reliable or scientific and should not be adhered, like, you know, should not be followed at all because some people are just nervous. Some people just have an itchy face. Um, but it's like, you know, this kind of like that kind of thing. I started doing this, I feel like it was because, not just because I had an itchy nose, but because I had an itchy nose because someone's lying. You know, I can smell it. I'm allergic to it. I'm allergic to BS. I'm a Scorpio. I'm a lie detector. So I'm already itching because your person is so full of, they're so full of it. It's like affecting my body right now. This person lied about everything. They gaslighted you well and good. They put you in a mental prison because they wanted to control you. This is what you don't know. There's way more lies here. There's way more stuff that's going to come out. I'm just going to clarify this. Tell me what this is uh, about, please, angels, specifically for my Gemini. Oh, my God, Gemini, boo-boo. It's going to be okay, though. This is the bad part. I'm about to get to the good part. Yeah. Oh, my God. Five of Cups. Disappointment and sadness. This person made you beg for attention. They made you beg for this person's love because they, like, they put this abusive dynamic on you. This person was emotionally abusive. Like, you know, I'm not casting as Persians. I'm obviously not a lawyer. I'm not, you know, saying that, you know, that allegedly I, this is a general a tarot reading for entertainment purposes, you know. But this person made you beg for their attention. They made you feel so, so small, and it was through manipulation. They did it on purpose because they wanted to control you, narcissistic behavior patterns, narcissistic abuse. That's what I see here. This person could be the kind of person who disappears from your life, like a narcissist might do, for you know longer periods of time than reappears. Something really shady about this person, baby. Um, if this person left your life, they ever want to come back in, I would not let them in. There's something really shady. They have a lot of secrets. They will bring nothing but disappointment to you. The, uh, this person promises you a lot, but it's just like, it's, just, it's a pie in the sky. It's not a real thing. It's pie in the sky. They made you think, like, this person got in your head, baby. This person got in your head and they made you feel... Like, you were at fault, you know? They made you feel like, oh, I, like, you know, I brought this on myself. Or if only I hadn't asked this person, you know, why they were, you know, talking to other people or why they were doing, like, weird stuff or why they were gaslighting. If only I hadn't called them out, they would have, wouldn't have left. No, this person is, like, this person is an abuser. It, did, it doesn't matter what you have done, would have, would not have done, whatever it was. This person would still have behaved the way that they did. Ooh, okay. Guess who jumped out? The devil. Hmm. This person wanted to bind you, bind your mind, imprison you. This person is a control a freak. This is someone who wants to control you. Uh, who wants, you know, they could have even said, you know, that's what, that's what abusers do. They say, like, they might say, you're controlling Gemini because, like, they don't want you to have any kind of power or agency over your life. So the minute you take any agency over your own self, this uh, narcissistic abuser could have been saying things like, well, yeah, but, like, you're, you're, you're trying to control the situation, Gemini. You need to relax more. You need to trust the situation more. Trust the process. All of that abusive crap. They were putting it on you, boo-boo. They were making you wonder, like, you were like, is it really me? Like, maybe it's me. Maybe I'm being unreasonable. Maybe I shouldn't ask where this person is at night kind of thing. Like, obviously, incorrect. Like, obviously, this person was just, like, gaslighting you. You might, you know, you might want to be taking some time to heal yourself because this person was really, really horrible and unreasonable. It made you doubt yourself, boo-boo.
excuse me, I have this, I have this thing. Sometimes I just start yawning for no reason in readings. I've I've been on a yawning spree today. Uh, I don't. I'm not sure what that means. Like where it comes from. Maybe it's from. I think it's like some kind of a physical thing. Maybe it's like one of the ducks has some kind of a dye in it or something. I don't know. Exposure to something. Um, this devil also tells me this person will be coming back around. Be careful with this, uh, you know, uh, abusive energy. This person who left you with all these swords in your back who betrayed you. This person at some point will be back. Be careful about this. You don't want this person, you know. Uh, I do see something new coming in here, uh, boo boo. In the near future, you have the Queen of Cups, um, Gemini. This is beautiful, sensual uh, love, meeting of the mind, souls, a soulmate love. Someone's gonna come in. This Queen of Cups is coming in for you. Uh, disregard the gender. It's arbitrary. It is only energy. So whatever applies to you in your situation. But a Queen of Cups is coming at you. This is someone who knows how to love, someone who's been manifesting love, the kind of love that is you. Uh, someone who could be quite spectacular. Uh, someone who, it's the kind of person who you're going to always feel like when you get together, when this person comes into your life, you're going to always feel like, you know, like home is where, where the heart is. Like you're going, you like, you might even have this epiphany in this connection at some point. At some point, you're going to be just like sitting somewhere together or doing something together in the future. And you're just going to like think to yourself, yeah, like as long as this person, this uh, Queen of Cups is with me, I feel like uh, we can just like go anywhere and it's going to feel like home because home is where the heart is. Home is where this, per where this person is. Because this person's going to love you so much. And you might do a lot of traveling together too. This is coming in now. Um, I don't know how you guys are going to meet. It could be uh, Tinder, Tinder, Hinder. I mean Hinge. Uh, Tinder, Bumble, Hinder, you know, all of that stuff. Uh, Bimbo, Himbo from Tinder, anyone in between. But it could also be like a meeting in real life. Like, a chance meeting could even be in, like, a place of entertainment. Could be in a theater or a bar. Um, Nine of Pentacles, long-term energy here for you is a beautiful, stable relationship. This is someone who's going to lay a foundation, make you feel safe, make you feel loved, make you feel appreciated, make you feel seen. All of the things that this narcissist from the past did not do. The Hierophant. Clarification for the Nine of Pentacles is like marriage vibe. This is someone who's going to marry you and take care of you. They're going to take care of your every need, like legit. Like whatever you, whatever your love language is, if it's like, you know, my needs are, I like to be pampered and I like, you know, I like expensive gifts and trips abroad. Like that's what this person is going to give you, according to their ability, obviously. Um, where if your love language is, acts of kindness or acts of duty you know like they're gonna do a lot of stuff for you they're gonna do diy around the house they're gonna cook for you you know whatever floats your boat if it's words of affirmation there's gonna be a lot of words of affirmation and stuff like that this person is a great match for you like a new beautiful person is coming in but with this devil energy too i would say this is a caution here for you gemini don't be tempted devil is temptation it's right next to your ex energy don't be tempted to go back to this other um, past energy because that's going to block this new person, this new person coming in. And it's meant to be a beautiful connection for you here. This is a big contrast. This is coming in the next three weeks from the moment you watch this video. This is going to start, you know, the energies, the energies are here already. Okay, t many cards fell out uh, from the Oracle deck. I'm just going to take them all because they all wanted to come out for some reason. So the first ones that came out, oh my gosh, you know, I think it's this duck. This week we yawn because it has this like, I always complain about it because it has this like hologrammatic texture to it. And it does have a funny smell. I think that's making me yawn so much. Anyway, keep an open, it's okay. So the first card we got was keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. So this is just, uh, again, a little uh word of advice here for when this uh, new soulmate comes in this new love comes in this person who's i see you marrying them where you know if you're not the marrying type it's going to be some kind of a committed relationship uh bear in mind it could be someone who's not your usual type so keep an open mind excuse me yeah but i'm so sorry it's just i can't 
I can't help it. Um, the second oracle card says, stay optimistic about your love life, yeah? So, yeah, keep an open mind and be positive about it. Don't, you know, I feel like don't dismiss people unless, you, you know, if you don't have to, don't dismiss someone. Give them a chance. It says, give this person a chance. Uh, celebrate love, too. Don't be afraid to celebrate love for love's sake. Um, pamper yourself, surround yourself with beautiful things, and those things will bring in love. Forgiving and learning. Um, again, this is all about coming into a new relationship, into a new connection with generosity of spirit, with empathy. A um, bit of a caution here, too. Don't let your experience with this, you know, this devil person from the past, this narcissist, don't uh, allow that to um, in some way... Um, affect this new connection because this new connection is going to be really amazing and you don't want it to be affected by the past by this toxic person and you have engagement that's the final card of from the oracle angel love oracle is engagement this is leading to something really stable really special this new person who's coming in uh you got the higher font you got engagement in the oracle deck like this is yeah this is something that's leading to something super serious this is a power couple by possibly a relationship with a capital r uh, a lot of beautiful things will be coming to you uh, in this connection. This will, like, and the commitment will happen really quickly into this meeting, into this connection, uh, Gemini. So I feel like beautiful things are coming for you. Uh, release the X. I don't feel like there's anything good here. Be ready for the X to come back in and be ready to say no and be ready for this new person uh, to be... Uh, to be the long-term situation uh let me know in the comments below gemini if this resonated for you uh what is your story as well i'm really curious to hear your stories if this was not your story here today uh remember it's a general reading so uh, it won't be uh it won't be for everyone but if there's a message here for you it will find you i hope it will uh gemini i wish uh love was easier but it isn't that's why we're here uh, i'm sorry this person in the past hurt you Better things are coming for you. Uh, take care of yourself, Gemini. I'll see you next time. And may the angels protect you.